So uh, this is just a small tip uh, on using FLTK uh, on uh, Mac OS. So uh, I've just taken the uh, editor example from the uh, repo and usually uh, it uses a normal uh, menu menu bar. So uh, if you search uh, menu, oops, menu bar, so it uses a normal menu bar and this would look like this. You can see the uh, menu bar, uh, the FLTK menu bar basically. And uh, we can actually, uh, you know, on uh, Mac OS, you can get a, a menu bar up, a system menu bar basically. So uh, if you open, for example, any application, uh, let us say uh, the Finder. You can see uh, the menu bar here, so it says system menu bar. So uh, FLTK offers a system menu bar also, uh, for, uh, especially for macOS. So if you say system menu bar and run this, so we get the menu bar uh, here. So basically, uh, we can also change this. So uh, normally the uh, sysmenu bar uh, doesn't need these uh, coordinates here and we actually start the uh, editor area at basically uh, 5 uh, pixels from the, uh, on the x-axis and then 40 on the y-axis so we can, if we change it to 5 here and run this so you get the, uh, and now we have to fix it down here, for example. So, uh, you know, so basically we have to add 40 here, uh, so uh, 95. This can all, this can all be changed using a conditional compilation uh, to get things uh, specific for uh, your uh, platform or for the targeted platform uh, so maybe this was a bit too much for mac os with everything uh, graphical you always need to actually look at the uh, results of your uh, of any modification so we get the uh, menu bar that we've created through fltk it's a system menu bar uh, specifically for Mac OS and you can uh, open uh, anything with it. Uh, in FLTK we set the filters for the files that, that can be opened so uh, here basically we can only open uh, text, uh, Rust and Tunnel files. You can change these here if you check uh, RS. So uh, dialog set filter and uh, these are the files that are currently supported by our editor. We can change this to add other types of files. And uh, here basically uh, we can open the tunnel file for example and uh, we get this. Uh, you can also, this is also added programmatically, we can remove it so uh, or we can make it conditional so uh, let's say uh, text uh, line, a uh, set line number width. So if we remove this or comment it out, uh, close this here, I'll go run. So we don't get the, uh, the line numbers. And uh, we can get it back again. We can change the width of the line numbers. And uh, so that was basically it for the tip for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I'll make some more videos soon. Bye.